What's going on, fellow farmers? Welcome back to another episode of FS19 with your boy CJ Farms. Today, guys, we're going to be picking up from where we left off uh, on the uh, last episode. We're going to be, ooh, if I can get that right. We are going to be uh, finishing up this corn here, and then after that, we're going to be going over to the wheat. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys, if you haven't already, and smash that like button for your boy. As I would greatly appreciate it, guys. We're on the road to 800 subs, currently sitting at 790. 10 subs to 800, guys. So let's get to those 800 subs. And uh, let's get on with this episode, guys. As soon as this harvester drains, we're going to get a worker on that corn over there. And we are going to find something else very constructive to do. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. Um, and uh, overall, thank you all so much for tuning in the channel. Thank you so much for your everyday love and support. I really, really do appreciate you guys. Let's go over here and get on this. All right, we're going to pipe back in and turn these lights on. Man, look at that harvester. All right, let's turn it on. Let's get going, man. Let's get going. This harvester, um, I, I really love this harvester just because, and the corn header especially, um, because of the way it is designed. I love the way it folds up. I love the way it takes the corn down. Um, I just really, really love this harvester. I love the way the inside of it looks. Um, I just love, I love this game, guys. I truly, truly love this game. We are going to, let's get those hazards on. Those lights, guys, how they pop. Those lights, man, they're popping. These graphics are popping too, man. Love the graphics in this game. I love the reshade. Um, guys, be sure you check out my YouTube brothers and sisters. They're all linked down below. And for the DJ Goham fam that has come over here and subscribed to me, thank you guys so much. Big shout out to the DJ Goham fam. I know you guys are over here watching, and I appreciate every single one of you, as well as the other subscribers as well. I appreciate all of you. So, guys, we have, uh, we don't have very far to hit a thousand subs. And once we get monetized, I'll tell you what I will do, guys. Once we hit 800 subscribers, I will do a CJ Farms live stream, okay? Um, we will go live on CJ Farms. I will pick a night because I am pretty busy on my other channel as well. But we will pick a night, guys, where I will go live. Uh, it, may, 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 it, may be a, it may be a Saturday. Uh, it may be one of those days, but we will pick a night, guys, where we will actually go live on CJ Farms and, uh, you know, have a little farming fun, guys, you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get a worker on this, and he's probably going to turn it back straight as to where I had it quickly. Yeah, it was, I was going very quickly. So there we go, guys. So we are, let's go up here and get this tractor out of the way. Uh, but I hope you guys are having a fantastic week, man. I hope you guys are happy and where you want to be in life. And that you guys are in consistent prayer with God or some kind of meditation or whatever it is that you guys believe or practice. Uh, I hope you guys are practicing it. And, uh, you know, we need to practice a lot more love in this world and a lot less, um, a lot less hate and, you know, the stuff that's going on in the world. So, the Kubota. And we're going to go out, out here, and we are going to fertilize our grass here in, uh, on the field here. So we're going to actually just start fertilizing. There we go. So let's go ahead and fertilize our grass. It's always good to, uh, you know, keep the grass nice and fertilized so it stays beautiful and green. We got a patch of dirt right there. I don't know why we got a line of dirt, but that needs to be fixed. So what I might do is we might have to harvest this grass and then just re-cultivate uh, it and um, and then replant our grass. So which is not a big deal. It doesn't take a lot of work to do it. Uh, man, I love this Kubota. I really, really love this Kubota. We're going to go over this way, take a big wide turn. Um, this fertilizer does not have to be, I mean, I don't, I don't know if it has to be or not, but I literally never, ever spray the solid fertilizer on, on every inch of the field. You know, I just, I just don't do that. Um, but I love that front loader, man. I love it. I love this Kubota. I love the way it looks and it, it takes me back to my childhood memories. Uh, as to when uh, my dad had a Kubota and he used to let me drive that thing all over our land we had like uh, I think we had we had like 10 acres of land we have lights on this thing guys I love the lights on this Kubota I love it that would be a good thumbnail but our last thumbnail was of the Kubota so uh, we will have to pick a different thumbnail this time but uh, I remember uh, we had like 10 acres I believe it was something like that and we, um, my dad would let me drive that Kubota all over the farm, just for fun, just for fun. 
Um, we grew up, I grew up around a lot of four wheelers and three wheelers. Uh, I know a lot of you don't know what three wheelers are, but that is what, uh, they don't, they don't even make three wheelers anymore. They haven't made those since the, like the early nineties, I believe it was. Um, but, um, anyway, guys, uh, my dad used to let me drive the Kubota all over the land and we had, uh, I had a, we had a two-seater go-karts, we had a one-seater go-kart uh, that were extremely fast, and uh, when you grow up around stuff like that, uh, you tend to want to have that in your life as an adult, and uh, pretty soon I am thinking of getting a go-kart for my kids. I teach them how to drive it, of course, you know, and all that. And, uh, this fertilizer uh, really does a lot of good for these fields, man, it really does. Um, let's lift that bucket up a little bit. but. Uh, you know, I'm thinking about getting some, uh, getting some uh, go karts and some four wheelers pretty soon for my kids, and uh, you know because it's, and you got to teach them how to ride them. You can't, you can't just let them get on them and, and, and go crazy. I want to teach my kids how to ride them with sense, and you know, you know, always use your common sense when you're riding them. Of course, always wear your helmet. Uh, that's always a must. Uh, you know, because kids these days, man, they'll get on stuff like that and they'll just full throttle all the way and not think about it. Um, anyway, I don't know why I went to that subject, but my guy, my dad used to let me drive the tractor all over the farm and I remember our Kubota was about this size. And we are going to drive the Kubota over to the other part of the farm and see how the black smoke comes out of the top of the pipe, guys, because Kubota is diesel. Um, that's actually the way they used to run back in the day, man. I mean, the way they've always ran was... You start a Kubota up, man, the first thing you see is that big cloud of black smoke that comes out of that pipe. Now, the Kubota we had, we actually had a rain cap on ours. So if you guys don't know what a rain cap is, oh, it did not tell me my harvester was full unless I just missed it. Um, but a rain cap, you know what, I'm going to the wrong place to fill up my fertilizer. My fertilizer's on the I forgot I moved the farm around, guys. But a rain cap is, is a cap that goes over your pipe. So when you start the tractor, that rain cap back kind of bounces up and down as the tractor's running. Um, but it's just, uh, it keeps the rain out of the, out of the pipe and keeps it from, you know, getting water in your, in your, in your gas tank and your carburetor and all that. And, uh, so it's, uh, we're going to go ahead and park this right here. I just remember those Kubotas as a kid and just the sound of that thing. Man, I love it. I love the sound of a Kubota. All right, we're going to go ahead and Park that right there. Let's jump back in here. And we gotta go down and empty out our harvester. Guys, this is gonna be a big field to take care of. Um, I'm, I'm trying to, sh I've been trying to shorten my episodes, which I have. I, I've taken them down to like a 10 minute episode. Um, but I think I might take the time up to at least another 20 minutes, um, just because we're not getting much done within the episodes themselves. All right, let's go ahead and pull about right there. Ooh. Oh, no, don't don't go ahead. Don't go ahead. Don't go ahead. Just Okay, there we go. I thought he was going to take off. Usually when you do that, they'll 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 start taking off. And we have almost got a full grain cart here, guys. He's going to take off now. He is going to take off. Oh my goodness. Nope, we got to stop him. We got to stop him. We got to stop him. All right back uh, out. Take this up to the the uh, grain silo, guys. Let's go ahead and drive this on up. This is a pretty, pretty heavy load. You guys can see my mirrors are working phenomenal. They are fantastic. So, uh, yeah, guys, I really, really love playing this game. Uh, this is my, uh, uh, you know, GTA 5 LSPFR, and, man, I wish I had a louder horn. Guys, if you know of any good, good horn mods, please let me know. Um, where I can put a good horn on these tractors. Um, I, I really don't like the horns. I mean, I don't even know if you guys can hear that. I can barely hear it myself. So we are going to go and we are going to um, take this over to the grain silo. There we go. Man, this thing is heavy. Heavy load, guys. Heavy load. This John Deere is barely pulling it. All right, there's our cattle, which uh, they look like they're good on straw. Look like they're good on water. I think they're good. We're gonna keep the amount of cattle we have, guys. We're not gonna overload it again <laughs> like we did last time. So let's go ahead and pull this up here on the silo. You guys can see we have our silo displays back. Let 
There goes the corn, guys. There it goes. Let's go ahead and watch it go up. And there goes our corn right there. There it goes, man. Look at that, guys. We have over 50,000 liters of corn in this silo. And we've we've got a lot of harvest that we could actually sell. Um, but I don't know if we're going to actually sell it all yet, guys. I want to really fill it up real good. Um, and, uh, you know, and then take it off so we can get a pretty good cut um, of what we're selling. And once we take it off, guys, I will get a big semi-truck and a big tractor trailer to um you know to so we can haul off a big big harvest uh and we might actually take a couple we might actually have to hire a worker to follow me down to the uh the sell point and uh actually uh, so we can make a lot of money guys you know i like you know when i take a harvest off i don't want it to be just a little bit um i, I want it to be quite a big you know i want it, i want it to at least be worth my my trip and taking a harvest off for, you know, you know, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars it's not really worth it. You know, I want to make a good hunk of money on that, uh, on that trip. You know, I don't want it to be a waste of time. Um, but we are going to pull back into here. Ooh, make it. We made it. And we're going to go back over here where our harvester is. He's, what is, did, why, did, why is he done? Why did he finish? Is he full again? He's not even full yet. I can tell you when they're full because they they will put those um, they'll put their pipes up. They will pipe out when they're actually done. So let's see what's going on here. Let's back up. And he missed a piece of corn right there. Oh, he missed a he missed a little bit of corn right here. Let's go ahead and go back. And this field is going to be done today, guys. We are going to be finishing this field up. That is going to be it. So next, guys, we will be we will be uh, I almost said fertilizing. We will be uh, going over there and harvesting our wheat, in which we will get some bells. So we will have straw bells um, from the um, wheat. So we'll definitely get some uh, straw out of that. Definitely. All right, and there we go, man. We got it. Spray the rest of that on the field. Yeah, guys, I need a good horn mod. Oh, don't go. Let's let's back up. We don't want to hit those signs. So we're gonna go ahead, and we are going to fold that header up. Now see, I love the way. That, even though the, the header doesn't actually fold in half, I love the way it folds like that. I don't know why. I just do. And we are gonna go. We're gonna grab that kabod and go back to the main farm, guys. So we are gonna go down here and pipe out, and we are going to put the rest of this harvest what we have left in this John Deere into uh, ooh, that would be a good, good thumbnail right there man that would be a good one right right there there we go that's a good one all right and pipe out run it back up and dump that off in there oh look at there guys we missed a corn stalk right over there look at that check this out one corn stalk you know what we're going to grab it real quick Let's pipe back in. We're going to grab that real quick. Um, and then we'll dump the rest of the harvest. Ooh. we got to unfold that. Come on, man. Unfold your header, bro. Nope. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Now watch how much uh, that throws out of the back of the of the John Deere. Is it going to throw any out? Oh, there's another, there's another one right there. Man. Get on the field, spread on the field. There you go. All right, and now we can pipe out. And we can put that into the trailer. There we go. That's it, guys. We got the field done. It is done, guys and girls. And that is going to do it for this episode of FS19. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I do appreciate the love and support. Did that all dump out? Is that it? I guess that's it. And we got to fold up the harvester as well. But, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And smash that like button for your boy, as I would greatly appreciate it, guys. Do not forget that next time we will be harvesting our wheat over here uh, in this field, which, is, which looks absolutely amazing. It is golden brown and ready to harvest, guys. But I love you all so much. Until next time, 
This is CJ Farms, and one crop at a time, we are helping America grow. I love you guys so much, and I will see you all in the next video. Mm -hmm.